Welcome to the Stock Report. This is Joe Mama giving you your daily update for my friends Doug, TJ, and Chris. And trains, of course. Can't forget about trains. So we had a rough day in the market today. I think I may have mentioned earlier it wasn't the market. I had a feeling earlier that the market wasn't acting right. Sorry, there's a cat back there. And um, <clears throat> I didn't think it'd be a really good time to get in the market. But for Doug, um, I wanted to go through a couple stocks, which I think might be a buy. I don't think anything's really a buy right now. Um, so there's a couple things I want to talk about real quick, just kind of get you guys familiar. Look at the, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which this is a, uh, what's called a spider. Uh, it kind of, so it kind of tracks it. Right now, I think we're going to be headed towards um, this level here. Um, <clears throat> there's a good chance we're going to hit this level this week, as far as I can see. Um, things have turned really negative, as you can see here, too. Uh, this is another indicator I look at. It's called Stochastics. Um, and it kind of gives me um, an idea of when the market is... Uh, oops, I don't think I can highlight that. That's okay. Uh, when the market may be overbought or oversold. It's just a guide. It's not a be-all, end-all. Um, so looking at this here, <clears throat> it'd be really bad guys if we went down through this level, which is approximately, if we close below, I'm trying to pull this up, but you can see it, it's going to be, uh, 23,025 maybe, uh, convert over. So 23, uh, 278. So if we go, if we close below that, that'll be really bad. So, um, <clears throat> That would be a sign to kind of uh, hunker down and really not buy anything right now. But uh, we, as you can see, we've been trading in this range for the past couple of months. Um, there are some opportunities to buy and sell um, certain stocks. So um, let's go through those real quick. So there's a couple that I do like that are on the lower price, uh, especially because Doug had some interest in it. Um, I didn't buy this one. Let's see a couple more here. Uh, this is one I was just kind of eyeing. This is trading on the Canadian market. Doug, this is one you may want to buy. I don't think it's a good buy right now. I think it's a little overbought. Um, it's called Pro Fire Energy, PFIE. Um, <clears throat> they're kind of taking, uh, rocketing up because of the higher price of oil. I have a funny feeling that, well, not a feeling. Uh, there's a possibility that, that oil can do a retracement a bit, but nothing dram overly dramatic. So this stock uh, could all... Well, also do the same so I would hold off on buying this for now uh, it's I mean you could but it's not really a safe um, it's not really kind of like what I would want I would typically buy right right at this moment um, I wait for another oh, it's starting to pull back a little bit and when it does I think this will pull back um, as well it's a small company as you can see it's been uh, moving up it's a 360 close at 367 today um, I'm trying to move myself around here on a weekly chart. It's starting to rebound a bit, so you can see over time it's gotten high as like 550 or so. Um, this will be something I would buy. Um, I'm gonna pull back on the oil. I wouldn't buy it right now though. It'd be a really bit risky bet to buy it now. So if you want to do it, go ahead. But I wouldn't recommend it. Um, this is another one I was going to buy. Um, I think I did buy it actually around five bucks. I bought it last week. Um, it's got four cents. I kind of like, uh, it's kind of a turnaround. Um, the company is uh, improving its bottom line a bit. Um, this is something that um, I think is going to be trading, trending up. It's kind of been bucking the market um, and the volatility, as you can see, it's been going up while the market's been going down. This is another one, Tandem Diabetes TMDM, going through. I do have a, what's called a trailing stop loss, so I think I'm going to get, I might have even sold it today. I haven't checked all my confirms but i liked it back here i think around five bucks and i won't got as high as uh almost as eight 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 let's see here uh 795 okay i was close and i was starting to trail back a little bit which i i would expect for a stock that moved up this much but i'm not gonna let my profit get away from me so um <clears throat> that um is one where definitely gonna um close out of if i get stopped down on that Here's another one which I like. Um, I think I'm going to like it better when um, oil comes back down, which I think it's going to do. So this is Synovus. This is also traded on the New York Stock Exchange. It's uh, close at 12.19. Um, and here's a trend line. As you can see, we get a lot of support in this $9 area. 
So this is going to be able to buy it and I hold on to it for a month or three and uh, sell it here on the upper end of the range because you can see it has some resistance up here, um, 13, 14 bucks or so. Um, there's another one that I like that I wanted to share with you. Let me see if I can find it. I'm kind of scrolling down here. This is my stock list. Um, <clears throat> as far as today goes, let's see, anything really interesting happening? Um, this is a Toronto uh, Stock Exchange. I don't think you guys can trade those. So I think this stock, this is another one for a long-term time on semiconductor has gotten beat up quite a bit. Um, as you can see, there's some there's some uh, holding uh, resistance around here. So I think we'll see the end of that, hopefully. I'm in that for the long term. So if I lose a little bit more money than I want to, it's okay. Because I think long term, it's going to be a winner. Um, as you can see, <clears throat> it's had a good run over the past couple of years. This is a long term chart. Um, let's see what else. There's a couple more that I like too. Um, let's see. I'm just going down here, guys. Sorry, I should have been a little bit more. Um prepared but I have a class and I wanted to do this real quick oh there it goes um let me see so Doug uh let's see I'm going back to my here so those those low price ones that I mentioned earlier uh let's review the symbols um these are going to be stocks to watch um this one might be I don't know much about it yet the stock is uh kind of trending with the market it's right above this blue line which is a 50-day moving average typically when it holds above that that's a good sign if it goes below uh it's not such a good sign and it's it's getting pretty close um so we'll talk about this stock another day um let's see so pfie is one that i like maybe not right now be on standby for that um i'm gonna just run a quick easy scan here so this one called low priced and moving. So let's see if we have anything interesting on here that might pique my interest. <clears throat> this GTE, this one's been coming up for a while. Um, and it's probably, I'll have to look at it. I don't know how it correlates to oil. But um, this one is at $3.23 a share. And you can see it's had a nice little run. Um, I think it'll pull back. I think, um, I think it's a bit extended. Uh, but I think this will be a buy, but not right at this moment. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh, anything that looks good. It's, let's see, low price and moving. I'm just clicking through here. Some of these are already moved up a bit more than I wanted to, but higher. Um, that, that might be a safe bet. I really don't see. Okay. Here's another one. The CPG. Um, I don't have it on my, oh yeah, I do have it on my list. This is another one that kind of, you can see the highs and the lows and how it trends, right? So right now we're getting to the upper end of the range, which is around nine bucks. A couple years back, I used to work with a guy who introduced me to this stock, um, right around in 17, 15. So this is on the New York. So I'm thinking that was more like back here. Um, but of course it came back down again. Um, but I think this one would be a good one to trade, like you want to trade up. Um, as you can see, it has the upper high and lows and I'll trade this one with you, but I don't want to buy it. I don't really want to buy it now because it's on the upper end of this uh, trend. So when it gets back down here to 650, seven bucks, we'll be on standby to buy it because I have it on my watch list. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Um, uh, let's see. Um, there's one called, um, I'm trying to find it here. Sorry, um, let's see, surge up, no, it is, what the heck is it, there's one that I like too, um, that is low priced and moving, uh, low priced and moving, sorry guys, I got a couple of minutes here, um, There's one where as a turn, uh, um, there's one, I can't find it. Maybe I accidentally deleted it. I hope to God I didn't. Uh, 
Um, there's a low price of moving, and there's another one that um, I have to scroll through it. All right, this is embarrassing. I should have been more prepared. I just want to show you guys. Here it is, bounce after pullback. So this is another one that I like to use. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, it gives you some ideas about um, some stocks that have been kind of trending down that are good, that are still decent stocks, and then it looks like they're going to be um, potentially are basing out, which means that it's going to kind of settle down a bit. I'm trying to look through here real quick um, to see if there's anything that I could mention, like he, like here for example, it's Foot Locker. This might be a buy, actually. Um, retail has been... Um, so here's another one, too. So there's O'Reilly, which isn't really retail, but we also have uh, a medical company. And this is Dillard's, which is kind of bouncing back, too, a bit. Um, so I'm definitely going to say this Foot Locker is quite interesting. It looks like it's bottomed out a bit. I'm going to wait to see... Um, I'm going to hold on to this one. FL is the symbol um, to make sure that... Um, it has, I'm going to investigate this later. This kind of does pique my interest, though, just because of the trading pattern. As you can see, um, it's, it's come down a bit, but it's still, and it looks like it's kind of bouncing up a little bit. And we'd much rather buy something on the up than on the down. Um, because <clears throat> that's I, that's my trading, one of my trading strategies, buy things as they're going up rather than down, rather than catch that falling knife, so to speak. Okay, so listen, uh, I gave you a couple ideas for today. Uh, five minutes until class. I hope you enjoy this quick overview. If I have anything else of interest, I'll definitely bring it up. We'll see what the market does tomorrow. As I said, um, I don't know uh, if we'll hit this um, resistance or not tomorrow. That will be a good thing we bounced off. But if we go through here, guys, it's kind of all over for now. Um, things have been pretty volatile, and uh, you never know. It could, it could go through it and then close up higher. So we'll see what happens. Um, I hope everyone has a good night, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if there's something I can do better, please let me know. This is JMB Investment Company signing off. I can figure out how to sign off.